Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw a venomized stick. So first let's get started by drawing our face on a slight diagonal. So coming in towards the left hand side of the page, we're going to start by drawing a sideways oval shape for the nose. Moving further up on a diagonal now, for the top of the head we're going to curve this line around and then down. And now coming over towards the left, we'll replicate that, arching that out and then back in. For the side of the face, now on the top, we're gonna curve this line around and then down. And then coming over towards the top, we're gonna curve this around, ending that on a diagonal at the same height. Now from here for the top of the mouth, we're going to draw a curved line that comes up. And we'll do the same thing on the right as we arch this further up towards the top. Now from here, we're gonna come underneath and draw in the teeth. So we're gonna draw curved lines as we arch these down. And we're gonna continue this pattern as we come all the way across towards the right. Now on the left-hand side, we're going to draw on the tongue first and then close off the rest of the head. Coming on towards the top, we're gonna curve this line out, down, and then across. Starting back on that line, we're going to curve this up and then back in. And then now from here, we're gonna start at that point, curving this around and then in. And now coming down on a diagonal, we're going to continue to curve this out, connecting that towards that line. Let's close off the rest of the face now. So starting at that corner, we're going to curve this around and then in. And then to close off the mouth, starting at that corner, we're gonna curve that around and then back in. Now from here, starting on the right-hand side, at that corner, we're gonna curve this around, bringing that just underneath the tongue there. And now we're gonna draw the tooth pattern as we come up. So starting in that corner, we're gonna bring this line up this time as we arch it up and then down. And again, we'll continue to do this as we come all the way across. To close off the tongue now, we're going to curve this up and then in. And then we're gonna bring this line behind in between each tooth. Starting at that corner now, we're gonna curve this back around, bringing that underneath the tongue. And now let's draw in our eyes. So on the top right hand side, we're gonna curve this line up and then down. And then moving over towards the left, we'll replicate that, arching that up and then down. On the right hand side, we're gonna arch this line up towards the top, bringing that further out. And again, we'll do that on the left, just making it slightly smaller. On the left hand side, we're gonna curve this line out towards the side of the face. On the bottom, we're gonna curve this line up. Starting at that point, we're gonna curve this line around, back in. And then now from here, we're gonna start at that point, curving that out towards the side of the face again. Let's focus on the right eye now. So on the right hand side, we're gonna start at that point, curving that around and then in. And now starting at that point, we're gonna curve this around and then down. At that point again, we're gonna curve that back around and then in. And now from here, we're gonna curve this all the way around and then in towards our nose. Let's draw in our right ear first. So coming just underneath the corner of our face, we're gonna curve this line around and then up towards the top. Starting at that point, we're gonna curve this line around and then up and then down. Starting at that corner, we're going to curve this line around and then in. Let's flip over towards the left-hand side now. So coming further across, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. Starting at that point, we're gonna curve this line around and then back in. Moving further up, we're gonna curve this line across and then back out. And now starting at that point, we're gonna arch that line around, in, and then down. Now let's move down, and on our diagonal portion here, we're going to draw in our foot. So we're gonna start on the left-hand side, curving this line around, and then back up, drawing the letter U. On the left-hand side, we're gonna curve this line up, and then in for our first toe. Moving in towards the middle, we'll replicate that. 
and then we'll replicate that as we come across on the right hand side. In the center, we're going to draw a nice big circle. And then we'll draw three more as we come across. Now for the claws, on each point, we're going to draw an upside down letter V. So we're gonna draw a small triangle. To close off the right leg, we're gonna start in the corner here, curving this up and then down. And then underneath, we're gonna curve that across. Starting further up now to draw in our left leg, we're gonna curve this line around, bringing that down. And now we're gonna draw in our left leg. So we're gonna start underneath, curving this around and then in. Let's start at that point, curving that around and then up. And now one more time at that corner, curving that around and then back in. And then now from here on each spot, we're going to draw in a small triangle. Now we're gonna draw in our right arm first. So we're gonna start further up and we're just gonna curve this line all the way across and then out towards the right. And then to close off the back portion of our leg, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. For our first finger, we're gonna curve this around and then in. Moving in towards the middle, we'll replicate that, arching that around and then in. And then one last time, we're gonna curve that up and then down. For our thumb, we're going to curve this around, arching this down, and then back up. And now in each spot, we're going to draw in another small triangle. Moving further up in the middle of the thumb, now we're going to curve this across. Let's move up on a diagonal now, and we're going to draw in our right arm again. So we're going to start by drawing a curved line that arches across. Let's dip this line out and then up. For our thumb, we're gonna come further up, curving this around, up, and then back in. For our first finger, we're gonna curve this around and then in. Moving in towards the middle, let's replicate that. And now one last time, we're gonna curve that around and then back up, connecting that in the corner. And now to close off our arm, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes in towards the side of the face. And now in each open portion, we're going to draw a small triangle again. Moving over towards the left-hand side to close off the torso, we're gonna to curve this line in towards the chin. For the top of the arm, let's curve this across and then in towards our tongue. And then moving underneath, now we're gonna curve this line around and then up. For our thumb, we're gonna curve this line around and then in, creating the letter C. Now we're gonna draw a small triangle towards the left of that. On the top for our first finger, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. Moving further down, we're gonna bring that further out and then back up. And then again, one more time, we're gonna curve that around and then in towards the corner. And then again, for the claws, we're just going to draw in a small triangle. For our last arm now, coming underneath our tongue, we're going to draw in a small curved line that arches up. We'll continue to extend this behind the tongue, curving that around and then in. And then for the palm, we're gonna curve that around and then underneath the tongue. For our thumb, we're going to start by curving this line around, up, and then back in. At that corner, we're gonna curve that up and then in. Again, moving across, arching that around and then in. And now one last time, we're gonna curve that around and then down. We're going to draw in a small triangle on top of each arch line for the claws. Lastly, let's draw in the symbol in the middle. So on the left-hand side, we're going to bring our line down. We'll do the same thing on the right. On the left-hand side, we're going to bring our diagonal line up. And again, we'll do that on the right-hand side. Moving underneath the face, now we're going to bring our diagonal line out towards our right arm. 
moving underneath our knee now, we're gonna bring that diagonal line in. And then as we come behind our knee, we're gonna continue to bring that out towards the side. Now from here, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes in towards the middle. And we'll do the same thing over on the left, bringing that up. And then now from here on the left-hand side, we're gonna bring our diagonal line down. On both sides, now we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And now at that point, we're going to draw a small diagonal line that comes up. And then we're gonna close that off with a straight line from left to right. And that is it. That's how you draw Venomized Stitch. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.